I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Hey everybody, this is Tambiota, and you're watching the Daily Review. So today we have, uh, from Eagle Moss, this is Build the Back to the Future DeLorean. This is issue number 20. Here are our parts. Here's the magazine. Let's just look at it real quick. We're going to be make, um, we're going to be, uh, um, um, dealing with the, uh, the intake manifolds on this issue. Um... This is the instructions and how it all goes together. And still not gonna be putting the engine on there just yet, or that top part of the engine on there just yet. Uh, pro uh, production uh, production diary. My my words aren't working right now. Um, looks like they have like a little article on on all the cuckoo clocks and Doc's lab. Uh, the uh, the mall. Looks like uh, up on the um, um, kind of foreshadowing of him being up on the, uh, the, 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 the the clock, the clock tower, the uh, uh, the Rube Goldberg that he has to uh, to put down Einstein's food every day. We got a article on Huey Lewis because he was actually in the movie and he did. Uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the music for the soundtrack, and we have a uh, uh, an issue an, or, or a little episode on uh, time traveling guide to uh, Uncle Joey, so little baby. Okay, so here's some more parts for next issue. This is all that we're going to be dealing with. In this one, so let's go ahead and get to cracking on this. All right, let's get all the parts out. Go ahead and bring in the engine. Now, I had a little bit of an accident. I don't know how it happened. I super glued in my... Uh, uh, my hose and a darn thing broke off. You can see that tab right there and you can see the part that broke off. So I'm gonna have to figure out how to fix that later on, but not right now. This is the part that we're gonna be using today. So we'll go ahead and set that off to the side for right now. And we need 20 C and D, Ooh, dang. I don't know how to tell the difference between these two parts. Oh, these are these are both the same. So these are 20 C's, these are 20 D's. And that's okay. So we'll flip those upside down. These go on here like this, here and here. Oh, this is going to be a little pain. Okay, so AP screws. That looks like that's all that we're going to be messing with today. There's a lot of those in here. Okay. Um, screwdrivers. I'm not sure if this is the tip that I need for this. Yeah, okay, that'll work. <sighs> okay, this is gonna be a pain. I can already tell this is gonna be a pain. Cause you gotta keep everything lined up. <laughs> yeah, oh gosh. I wish there was like a little jig or something that I could use to keep all this stuff lined up. Probably the best thing to do is probably just to start 
the screw and leave it loose. This is going to be a pain. Because <laughs> I got to come underneath it. It may just be easier for me to go ahead and screw them on here. Screw them onto here. Now I'll have to unscrew them later on to get these top parts on. You know what? All I need to do is just put one screw in on each side. With there being a recess on there, it holds it in really well. So I just need the screw on one side. And that'll be, that'll be my little jig for jig to hold everything in place. Okay, now that those are in, now this should go in a lot easier. in like that. Seems to be working really well. I think I'm doing this a lot faster than I would be if I was doing it unaided. If those were just free to mosey about however they wanted to, so. All right, so now, now I'm gonna have to remove
All right, so we got to look at, uh, okay, so, so you'll notice that one side is longer than the other. So for this one right here, we need this one in particular. See how there's like this little groove right here? We have to match that up there. And then this one is going to match up like this. Take our screws. Oh, just throw the screwdriver, don't you? Okay. One, two, makes it a lot easier when you don't have to dig for different screws. You'll have all the same, the same screw size. Makes things a lot easier. And number four. All right, so now all of those are in there. Now we just gotta figure out which way we gotta put this on to the engine. So we're gonna look at the, uh, the mount. You see that there's two screws right here. So that's gonna go towards the water. Um, the water coolant piece right here, and then we'll flip this over. And start putting these back in here again. So we've got three screws left over, so we'll go ahead and add it to our extra screws, our extra stockpile of screws. All right, cool. So that's how that looks, and we'll go ahead and add this in. Just, uh, it's looking pretty cool. Looking pretty good. All right, so AP screws. Gosh, we already have a lot of extras in here. Okay. All right, so go ahead and put those up. So we're done with all of this and that's today's issue. So hopefully you did enjoy that. That was cool. We figured out a little trick on how to hold these in so that we can get uh, the manifolds on there and the intake manifolds on there, so very cool. All right, well, thanks once again for watching. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and give us some thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that right now, because I know a lot of you guys that watch this aren't subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. Let me know that you, that you enjoy this stuff. All right, this is Tambiota. I'll see you guys tomorrow.